Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's a fun one. I've got two brand new luminescent eye shades from Chantecai, a brand new highlighter from By Terry, trying out a new lipstick as well. And we're talking a bit of conservation. And then at the end, I'm going to take all of this off with Chantecai's brand new uh, Rose de Mai cleansing balm so we can see how that works out. Okay, so if you wanna see how this all came together, what this impossibly cute thing is on my head, just keep watching and please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I appreciate it when you do. Now let's jump in. Okay guys, so we've got another good video today. There were like two sort of surprise releases from Shantikai. They added two new luminescent eye shades to the family and I have them both. Here's Zebra. And then we have beautiful packaging. They carry it through. You know, I love me some shots cut. Crane, which is also another beaut, okay? Beautiful animal, beautiful packaging. I'm excited to try on the two new luminescent eye shades. And I'm gonna do a comparison swatch because uh, between one of the new ones and an older one. And I did do a video on a couple of the ones that I got when the luminescent eye shades first came out and each shades uh was supporting a or still does support uh endangered species so it was the endangered species series series so each of the eye shades went to an organization that supported that specific animal so we're going to talk about the organizations for the zebra and the crane and then the other product i have is this butte by by terry okay this is their new Twinkle Glow CC Highlighter, Highlighter, Lord. It's, it's early, guys. It's early. Highlighter, okay? Can, number one, Candlelight Glow. And I'm going to end it, my video, with a brand new Shantikai skincare product. They just released their Rose de Mai Cleansing Balm, okay? So we're gonna end the video just taking the makeup off and it's reflective, so it's hard to see. There's a, a slight pink rosiness to the packaging that's very, very pretty. And you can see here is the box. We'll get into that. They, they're beautiful boxes. And um, so we're gonna end the video talking a little bit about this and then taking all the makeup off so you can see it. I've used it once or twice since I got it and I love how easily it re you know removes makeup and it's just so moisturizing. So I'm happy with it and I wanted to share that with you on camera. I have another product that's not makeup related but it's sort of organization related to Shantikai and what they do. So let's jump in. So before we jump in, as always, my Breezy Tea product of the day is a brand new color for us. I'm wearing our Graphite uh, boho head wrap. So this is a new color for fall that has gotten very popular very, very quickly. I'm obsessed with this color. I love how it just fits right in between like blue and like gray. So those are my colors, those are my shades. As I've said before, I've worn them in lots of videos, long piece of stretchy fabric. You fashion them into any style you want, get creative, keep it simple. And it's perfect for those, you know, bad hair days or those days where you're just short on time and you just need to do something with your head. Put it on, go exercise in it. People wear them to yoga. People do all sorts of things in them. So if you wanna see our full range, we have lots of colors, just visit us at breezytea.com. So we'll start with zebra. So here is the outside of the eyeshadow. And then inside is this beautiful color, okay? Beautiful shade, beautiful, beautiful shade. You never wanna touch these because it's such a pretty design inside the shade. And then there's a small little, uh, there's a small mirror there that you can see. And I'm swatching it so we can get a sense of what color. I think I'm gonna put this one all over the eye. I'm just gonna leave it with these two colors. I am. Here is Zebra, a very, very pretty color. Very pretty color. So they describe Zebra as a rose gold. And it's one of those ones I can already tell like a one and done. Like I would wash this all over my eyes. I just put a little bit more on my hand. I would wash this all over my eyes and that would be enough. And I think this is gonna be beautiful on all different skin tones. Really, really pretty. Now, 
a little reading material for you all. The gravy zebra is one of Africa's most endangered mammals with only 3,000 left in the wild, nearly all in Northern Kenya, okay? Its survival depends on peaceful, peaceful coexistence with humans. So gravy zebra trust works with local communities to monitor populations, protect zebras from poaching, and restore healthy grasslands. Shantakai said, we proudly support their efforts. So uh, proceeds from the sale of zebra goes to Gravy's Zebra Trust. Okay, so that's a little bit about what that is supporting. And now let's look at the crane. So here's the crane. Again, the pack, the outside of the shadow mimics the box. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And it's this beautiful color. Okay, this is such a pretty, oh God, that design. Such a pretty color. Now, at first glance, I said, this looks like the pangolin color. Pangolin is the most trafficked uh, animal in the world, something to read up on. So they're, you know, wildly endangered, incredibly endangered. So, um, but the pangolin, which that was one of the ones I got. So it's in my video. This did look like it. They're describing this as a smoky burgundy. Well, hello, smoky burgundy. They're really finely milled. And look at this color. Another one, these two will work together, but another one that will look beautiful on its own as just a single color. So I'm excited. Really, really pretty. Let's see what they're saying about the crane. The crane is a symbol of wealth and longevity. The African gray crown crane is endangered by the illegal pet trade and habitat loss. The Rwanda Wildlife Conservation Association is saving the country's cranes by remotely removing birds from captivity and reintroducing them to the wild while fighting to end illegal trade. They proudly support Chantakai, their efforts. So proceeds from the crane luminescent eye shade go to the Rwanda Wildlife Conservation Association, okay? Okay, guys, I wanted to show you the two shades together because pangolin looked like it might be really close to the crane. So here's pangolin. And then here is the crane. They're not the same color at all, okay? Two very pretty colors, but not the same color. And here are the swatches, okay? This is much darker, the crane. Like they said, a smoky burgundy. And here is the pangolin, which, let me just get the official, how they describe the pangolin as a dusky lilac. Absolutely beautiful, absolutely beautiful, incredibly pigmented, just like the other um, luminescent eye shades. And it's just so smooth. It's so smooth. It goes on smoothly and blends out beautifully. And what's funny is this time I had less fallout than I did the first time that I used it. And I didn't use my fingers on, on purpose. I just tried to tap it on my, um, Usually I swipe, but I felt like this time tapping it with the brush on my lids, I had more control and so there's less fallout. But that, what color is it? That crane, that, what did they say it was? This smoky burgundy. Listen, the zebra is very pretty. The zebra is very, very pretty. And there's a little bit of like iridescence to the zebra, but I, that dark color and them together are just perfect. They're just perfect, perfect for fall. And I just love how smooth it looks on the eye. It gives you your, your eye a nice sheen, not too over the top. And again, finely milled sparkle, beautiful too 
new shades to add to the collection and supporting two beautiful organizations. Okay guys, this is the non makeup thing I wanted to show you. This is a new bag I just got from Net-A-Porter, okay? And there is a reason I'm showing you this. It's canvas, it's leather, it's dope. I just think this is a beautiful bag. That was the first thing I noticed was that the bag, there's the bottom, um, is beautiful, okay? And I'll just show you the back. Excuse me, put that inside. Here's the back, okay? So a beautiful tote. Now, the reason I'm showing this to you is because it is part of the Net-A-Porter Space for Giants collection. The first time I heard of Space for Giants was through Shantikai, and Space for Giants is, I think, their longest partnership, Shantikai, and uh, they work, they do work with elephants and other large mammals in Africa and their conservation, the conservation of those animals. So when we buy a lip veil, the last fall collection that Shantikai just came out with, I also have a video on that. The proceeds from that went to support Space for Giants. Well, Nutter Porte decided to, to partner with Space for Giants and create a whole collection. There's clothing there, there are accessories there, um, all sorts of things there from different makers, different designers, and 100% of the profits from this bag goes to Space for Giants. And I think that's true of all the products in the Space for Giants Net-A-Porte collaboration. I think 100% of the profits go to the organization. And so I just think it's a cool way to, one, if you're gonna shop anyway, if it can benefit um, something as good as large mammals, Ellie's my second favorite, my other favorite animal, um, and other animals. I think it's a great way to do it. So I wanted to just share that with you. And Hareyu is the, the maker of this brand. This one is sold out right now, but they do have another bag on uh, the, the in the collection. Hareyu is a brand out of Barcelona. And I don't know if you know, but that is the first stop when I moved to Europe. I lived there a few years and I always say that I grew up, I was a full grown adult, but I always say I grew up in Barcelona because I pretty much found out my strength when I, <laughs> how much strength I had when I lived in Barcelona. So um, yeah, that was another reason I wanted to support it. Anyway, just wanted to show you that anytime I can put out the word as a way to support animals. So just go to Netaporte, search for Space for Giants, and you can see the full collection yourself. And thanks for Shantakai for introducing me to uh, the Space for Giants organization. Next up is the By Terry Twinkle Glow Highlighter. So again, we have this beautiful uh, case, which is to show us what's inside. It's, it's, a, it's a preview as, what, as to what is inside the uh, formula of this CC highlighter. This is it inside, and here are, here's a swatch. So it's peachier on me than I thought it would be, which I'm happy about because I have a lot of pink. Now, the inside is supposed to be diamond, ruby, and 24 karat gold, which explains this beautiful, okay, dazzling packaging. Diamond purifies and regenerates the complexion. Ruby helps to hydrate the skin and provides dazzling radiance. Especially important this time of year when it gets colder, the air gets drier. I definitely need more hydration on my skin. 24 karat gold boosts collagen production, smooths and softens fine lines whilst providing an illuminating glow to the skin. So those are perfect buzzwords for me and my maturing skin. When you start to see things creep in, you want to, you know, handle it. So it's a lightweight texture and is infused with 3D pigments and it's supposed to flatter all skin tones and it's easily buildable. So let's get this on. I'm excited to see how this works, okay? I'm using it as a, as a highlighter today, but I know that I can also put it on as a base and maybe smooth out the skin before I do anything else. So it is a multi-purpose product. You can do different things with it, use it different ways, and yeah, let's get it on. So I'm in the mood for a big old fluffy brush, okay? So this is the Wayne Goss, I think the Holiday, I don't know the name of it, guys. This was last year's Wayne Goss uh, holiday collection brush, big old fan brush. So let's try this on. Immediately showing up. That's the other thing it said, it doesn't, yowza. Did she put on too much? She might have, this is beautiful though, whoa. Whoa, it is super lightweight. Oh, I haven't put on blush yet, so I'll be able to bring, take this back. 
But look how beautiful that is. Ooh, let's tap this time and not get beside ourselves. Oh, this is nice, guys. Immediate color payoff. Don't be like me, kids. Go in slowly and then build it up. Do, do, do. This is a much more, this, this cheek is much more respectable. This cheek has a little bit more sense. Oh, this is very, oh, this is, I'm enjoying this much more than I thought I would. I explained powder. Highlighters are tricky for me now because they kind of, sometimes they just skip, they just sit there. And creams do better on my skin. So, you know, it's, I have to be particular with, um, with, uh, my, um, powder highlighters. I need to buff some of this out. I lost my ever loving mind there. I want to mention this before I forget. If you can buy Terry is a, a French brand, but if you buy from their website, you do get 20% off your first order when you sign up for their newsletter. So that might be something to think about. Let's put some heel. Look how vibrant and I yep, yeah, it's one of those shades I can see it. It'll be beautiful on um, lots of different skin tones. Very flattering. And we learned our lesson that you can absolutely build it up. But even in building it up, like it's not super blinding. To me, it's still very, very tasteful and beautiful. And you saw how easily I was able to just buff it out and get it back under control. Love, love, love this. This is very pretty. Well done by Terry. It does look to be smoothing out this area. It's giving me a nice smoothing effect that I'm really, really appreciating. Okay, so I put some down my nose and um, I put on some blush and I used um, the Chantecai Radiance Chic Cheek in um, the Whale Shark and it's a rosy color, but it didn't disturb it at all. They kind of just melded into each other. This highlighter is absolutely beautiful from By Terry. And things that I like from By Terry, I really, really like. This is absolutely a staple. I cannot get enough of this mascara, the Lash Expert Twist and Brush. Uh, I think it's an absolutely stunning mascara and it's one of my favorites. So yes, the last thing is, I mentioned in my last Chantecai video that I got a free lip veil when I bought the uh, eyeshadow through net porte And this is the lip veil in Baobab. So I just wanted to show you. And remember the lip veils do go to support space for giants as well. So these are the most moisturizing things. I'm telling you, if you've not tried one of Chantecai's lip products, this lip veil is, is just, I haven't worn this one on my lips yet, but I have worn them before. And so moisturizing. And we're done. So just a nice light wash of color on the lips. But again, incredibly, they feel so nice on the lips. Okay guys, remember I'm gonna end the video taking my makeup off using the brand new Chantecai Rose de My Cleansing Balm. You see this like nice little pink tint? It's a beautiful balm. It has a, 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 rose, a light rose smell. And what it does is it leaves the skin, there's an iridescence to it as well. It leaves the skin so moisturized, it doesn't feel stripped, um, it just feels really nice and it takes my makeup off really quickly while nourishing the face. In it is antioxidant rich rose hip and tamanu oils and soothing, hydrating raspberry stem cell extracts, purify and replenish the skin while plant-based phytic acid gently exfoliates and a hyaluronic acid blends, blend boosts moisture. This is 80.3% natural, so really yummy. Uh, cleansing balm and I was in the market for a cleaner cleansing balm so I got this one and I'm happy I did so that's it for me guys I hope you enjoyed this video I hope seeing the shadows and the new highlighter from by Terry so pretty it's so pretty uh, was helpful and you know you learned a little bit about the different organizations I will link the organizations that I talked about today below and yes, 
Let me know if you plan on getting any of the, either of the two luminescent eye shades from Shantikai. What's your favorite one if you have one already? What do you, what are you gonna get? Are you interested in this by Terry highlighter? What's your favorite by Terry product? Tell me what your favorite by, by Terry product is. And yeah, leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like, do all those things. And if you wanna check out any of our boho head wraps, like this graphite one, any of our t-shirt hair towel wraps, satin line beanies, satin line knit beanies, silk and linen accessories, and velvet accessories, just visit us at breezytea.com. I will check you guys in the next video. Ciao for now, bye. Don't forget to keep watching as I take this all off. Just my makeup. Don't get excited.